let us move on to the next topic that is compute virtualization so before moving to this particular topic let us see what is virtualization so all of you know you have uh, owned your own computers is it so today's computers have tons of processing power but are these resources that are present in these computers are being utilized efficiently they are not really used efficiently so we have a particular solution for this particular problem okay the solution is compute virtualization compute virtualization allows multiple virtual machines to run on a single host computer and this leads to increased efficiency and multitasking power and also it improves manageability availability and security so you know now what is virtualization so now let us move on to the compute virtualization topic compute virtualization is a technique for masking or abstracting the physical hardware from the operating system this enables multiple operating systems to run concurrently on a single or cluster physical machines so what is compute virtualization is you have a physical hardware that is existing in your computer host computer and for the computer you have your own operating system so you have to run this uh, multiple operating system suppose if you want to run a multiple operating system concurrently on a single computer so that can be done using compute virtualization so this technique enables creating portable virtual compute systems called virtual machines so you may have heard of virtual machines okay so if you are in a technical world you will be usually coming across this word called virtual machine so what is the use of this virtual machine so if you are uh, working on a single computer and if you are running multiple virtual machines you can isolate those virtual machines and you can copy those virtual machines and you can uh, transfer it to other computers as well okay so that is why here this technique is usually used for creating a portable virtual computing systems okay so you can transfer it anywhere to other machines and you can run on other computers as well so the, these virtual machines runs its own operating system and application instances and it can be it can be isolated so compute virtualization is achieved by virtualization layer that resides between hardware and virtual machines called the hypervisor so you have uh, you have to imagine um, that where this hypervisor or the virtualization layer exist it usually exist between your hardware resources and the virtual machine running on your computer so between virtual machine and the hardware uh, hardware resource you have an layer called virtualization layer that virtualization layer is also called as hypervisor so this is the uh, uh, the name you have given for the virtualization layer that is hypervisor okay hypervisor provides hardware resources such as cpu memory and network to all the virtual machine so now let us see the compute virtualization diagram so you can here uh, look into two diagrams mainly that is one is before compute virtualization and another diagram shows after compute virtualization so let us go for what happens to your system before compute virtualization so think that you have a system or a laptop and its resources like cpu memory and nic card hard disk so these are the hardware resources that is existing in your system and you have one single os running on the system and there is only single application that runs on one particular os maybe you have installed os uh, it is windows operating system okay and you are in running one single application on that particular os 
okay so this is uh, about uh, uh, the system condition before compute virtualization so now let us see what happens if you are going for the compute virtualization that is another diagram shows the compute computer system with compute virtualization so the same hardware units whatever existing in the uh, system the previous system is also existing in the other system okay so same uh, same specification cpu specification memory specification everything is same okay cpu memory and ic card hard disk so all these resources whatever was there in the previous system exists in the other system as well but what we have done here is for the uh, for doing the compute virtualization we have created a layer called virtualization layer okay this virtualization uh, layer is also called as hypervisor so this uh, hypervisor exists between the operating system and also the hardware resource okay physical hardware resources are uh, uh, the existing system hardware resources okay but you can see that there are number of uh, virtual machines installed in the same system okay so here in in this particular system there is virtual machine 1 virtual machine 2 virtual machine 3 okay there, or also you can run one more virtual machine okay virtual machine 4 you can name it as okay. so there are that vm stand for virtual machine okay so this virtual machines are many in number in this particular system okay you have you are running uh, so many virtual machines on the single system and this virtual machine has its own OS and its own applications running on them okay so here uh, thing that you have installed in uh, one virtual machine you have installed Windows you can run uh, other operating system maybe Linux operating system uh, in the second virtual machine and you can run uh, Ubuntu uh, also in the other operating uh, virtual machine so there is possibility of a number of uh, OS that is being installed in the single system so this can happen only if you are having the virtualization layer or you call it as hypervisor so here you can see that these virtual machines are completely isolated from the other virtual machines okay so you can run this uh, application on one virtual machine and suppose if you want to transfer this complete uh, machine virtual machine to the other system okay to the other system maybe you have you have, have your friend's laptop you want to run on his laptop also virtual same virtual machine so you can transfer it very easily okay? uh, you can um, what you can say is uh, uh, you can create this virtual machine and also you can this virtual machines are portable on the other system okay so this is the use of uh, compute virtualization you can run as many a number of applications uh, as possible on the same hardware resources and you can create number of virtual machines running on the same system so here uh, the hardware resources are uh, completely utilized very efficiently they are being utilized here compute virtualization whereas the previous diagram if you are seeing only one single application runs on the uh, hardware units using so these hardware units but uh, think that you have uh, you had a hard disk with a larger capacity okay uh, nowadays you get uh, uh, the specifications very good specifications of hard disk as well as cpu but uh, do you think these uh, these hardware resources are being completely utilized no not really they are uh, they are always underutilized when you are running only one single os and one single applications or uh, on the os you can run two or three uh, many applications but uh, this uh, machines cannot be portable is it these applications cannot you can not port it to other machine as you wish and simply you can copy it but this complete thing or you say like here you have you have a virtual machine with some resources so these resources are 
these are the virtual resources which are being uh, which are created using this e existing physical resources so this resources it is utilizing it is virtual machines are utilizing the underlying hardware resources the so same way here this complete machine cannot be transferred or portable it is not portable is it only the applications you can copy to other uh, system but whatever os you have installed that cannot be copied to other thing hmm? is it other system or this complete thing or you say this is single system if you are considering now okay you have to run only a few applications on the single system so that is before computer utilization so you have seen a, a virtual machine or we call it as vm in the previous slide a virtual machine is a logical entity but appears like a physical host to the operating system with its own cpu memory network controller and disks however all the vms share the same underlying physical hardware in an isolated manner so this is the definition for virtual machine so virtual machine is actually the logical entity but it appears like a physical host to the operating system and this virtual machines may be vm1 vm2 vm3 or vm4 so so many virtual machines may utilize the same cpu memory network cards or the disks okay all all the resources are same okay it is using the same resources to run multiple virtual machine okay so what happens before virtual uh, compute virtualization a physical server often faces resource conflicts if issues when two or more applications running on the same server have conflicting requirements as a result only one application can be run on a sing server at a time as shown in the figure in the previous figure due to due to this organizations will need to purchase new physical machines for every application they deploy resulting in expensive and inflexible infrastructure so think that you have a computer and if you are running only single application what happens is your resources will be underutilized so the infrastructure cost also will be very high because you need more number of electric uh, more number of um, uh, machines there or cpus also it will be more if you are using uh, your computer without virtualization is it so for a single application you may uh, take one single system and you may install one only one application next other system you will be taking there also you will be installing only single application and you will be running that compute uh, laptop or system also okay but what happens due to this your electricity is wasted and also uh, your uh, resources are also mainly are being under utilized okay uh, and uh, the ac cost everything so everything will be wasted because of uh, the installation of single applications in single systems okay without vms you say so many applications do not fully utilize complete hardware capabilities available to them resources such as processors memory and storage remain remain underutilized compute virtualization enables users to overcome all these challenges so let us see what happens after compute virtualization so you have to know uh, how the system acts before compute virtual uh, compute virtualization and also you have to know how the system reacts after compute virtualization so now let us see what are the advantages of compute virtualization or what happens after compute virtualization so this technique is basically uh, is a technique that improves 
server utilization and also provides server consolidation so server is being utilized completely or it improves server utilization you can say and also it provides server consolidation so now let us see what is server consolidation server consolidation enables organizations to run their data center with fewer physical servers okay so what actually happens using uh, in the server consoli consolidation is you are going to run multiple virtual machines in the single computer so you need less infrastructure to construct a data center okay so suppose if you want to copy some uh, application that is running on a single uh, virtual machine you can transfer it very easily to the other systems okay so here server consolidation enables the organizations to run their data center with fewer physical servers so if you have few physical servers that is enough because it includes or it runs many virtual machines and uh, it gives all the resources necessary to run the physical servers okay so this in turn reduces the cost of new server acquisition so you need not, need not spend uh, uh, or spend more money on the uh, separate server because server can be created using the virtual machines itself and also it reduces the operational cost mm? it saves the data center floor and also rack space so uh, the operation cost is reduced and also the infrastructure for creating the data center is also reduced because you are going to uh, run multiple virtual machines in a single floor itself okay so if the systems are more you need more building is it but uh, to construct this kind of uh, uh, servers or when you say uh, when you are running uh, virtual machines you need less space in your system is it so it saves then the data center floor and rack spaces also the individual virtual machines so other uh, other help or, or other advantages of complete virtualization is it, the individual virtual machines can be restarted upgraded and maybe it may even be crashed without affecting the other virtual machines so this virtual machines are completely isolated from the other virtual machines you can upgrade it or uh, whenever you need okay you can restart your virtual machine whenever you require without affecting the other virtual machines running on the same system so vms can be copied or moved from one physical machine to other uh, physical machine without causing application downtime so this is required for maintenance activities so without uh, disrupting the migration activity you you can uh, uh, move your or copy the uh, physical uh, or virtual machines to other uh, physical machines okay without affecting the uh, application downtime okay so it won't affect your system you are running okay you can copy it uh, copy the virtual machine very easily to the other computer as well 